Today, mobile devices are ubiquitous within enterprise environments. But with their proliferation, it provides adversaries with yet another attack surface with which they can target users and cause a breach. From phishing attacks to malicious apps, mobile users tend to let their guard down and potentially click on obfuscated links to malicious sites. Falcon for Mobile extends EDR capabilities beyond the desktop by monitoring and recording activities taking place on mobile devices. By expanding coverage to include mobile, companies can gain visibility necessary to detect attackers from other vectors and prevent malicious insider activity, all while stopping breaches. Falcon for Mobile also protects users by preventing connections to malicious sites on both iOS and Android devices. Some examples of sources of these malicious connections are texts, emails, apps, or even QR codes. Falcon for Mobile can block navigating to malicious sites and notify the user why it was blocked, educating the user and reducing the risk in the future. Security administrators can also view reports within the Falcon console to identify individuals within the organization that may require additional phishing training. Now, let's take a look at how Falcon for Mobile can protect mobile devices. Here's a pretty simple example of a phishing email, and we can see that the user is fooled into clicking the link. When the device attempts to connect to the site, we see that it cannot be reached. The user is protected from the site if it was an attempt to harvest their credentials or collect their data. Falcon for Mobile also provides a notification as to why the site was blocked. The user can expand the notification to see additional details. Not only are links from emails like the previous example blocked, but any connection to a malicious IP address could be blocked by Falcon for Mobile, no matter the source. Now, as an administrator, Let's take a look at the events in the Falcon console. The mobile detection screen is structured to provide an easy way to view mobile threats identified within the environment. In the list view, it shows a high-level overview of detections, showing information such as the threat name, mobile user, and device impacted. When we click on the line item, it will expand an info pane on the right with additional details about the threat, such as a description of the threat or additional host information. We can see here that this detection is related to our earlier blocked mobile attack, where a domain lookup was matched to a domain used in a previous attack. For even more detailed information about the threat, we can click on the See Full Details button which will show all the information about the detection. In addition to the information that we just saw in the info pane, the full details also show related threat data such as the domain that was blocked, as well as a timeline of activities related to this detection. Those activities are steps taken by the security analyst with the Action button. The analyst can adjust the case with options such as setting its status to in progress, assigning it to another analyst, adding a tag, or adding a comment. After they're done, the status will be updated and tracked to ensure resolution of the case. So as we can see, Falcon for Mobile provides powerful protection that prevents users from unknowingly navigating to malicious sites and accidentally sharing data or credentials. With phishing attacks being such a common vector for mobile attacks, Blocking malicious network connections with Falcon for Mobile helps protect organizations from a breach.